Hey everyone, welcome to episode 20? 20 of Gorilla Radio Show. I Oh wow, we're on 20. Yeah, no, we, like we've, yeah gone, we've done 20 like... of these. This motherfucker has zero foreskin. <laughs> Absolutely no foreskin. <laughs> That's supposed the to be only for the... Crusader. That's only for the Patreon. <laughs> he had only to for have the reconstructive surgery in this, 2016 because they took too much foreskin. This motherfucker <laughs> has true. never felt his not glands true. rub against anything other than the inside of his tidy whities. This man cannot come through sex because of the lack of sensitivity. This motherfucker needs lotion every time. Every time. Every time. Not this true. dude comes inside moist, of a sock of because he does not have the foreskin pocket to catch his cum. What this motherfucker has zero about? dick cheese. Zero. I mean, he has never right. known the delights of snacking on a little bit of dick cheese. <laughs> we can't. We cannot open the first. You minute. can't open your foreskin. <laughs> Hey everybody, so if you're hearing the creamy sweet sound of my voice, that means I have a new microphone. Next week I won't be using it. I'm going to be using my regular cell phone to call into the entire show because (laughs) you pieces of shit don't deserve to hear my voice and all of its rich high fidelity quality, okay? Y'all just can't handle it. Do we want to move on from that foreskin (laughs) that you immediately (laughs) opened the episode with? Yeah. Sure, yeah. If that would make you comfortable. All right. yeah. Honestly, I didn't think you would give in that easily, but all right, good to know. Um, yeah, that oh, was buddy, supposed to be uh, blackmail Patreon content only. If yes, if you want to learn things about us, like whether or not we're circumcised, give us $10 on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Gorilla Radio yeah, Show. Okay, <laughs> all goes to a good place. Support abortion funds. That is true, actually. Yeah, um, give $10 to abortion and you'll find out what our dicks look like. If you we, kill one baby, I'll show you a picture of my cock. <laughs> <laughs> if you are a doctor and you perform an illegal abortion, we will we will all do it. <laughs> Literally. Nut video with the sound on. <laughs> Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, I uh, was talking to Chandran. Uh, I'm eating a country fried Wagyu right now. It's leftovers from a restaurant I went to. Um, it's pretty Truly terrible. Most... Yeah, Time limit, remember, Dickwad? No, no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It's fine. I at... I want to relish in the disgusting idea that is country fried wagyu. Yeah, who fucking ruins a wagyu like that? Well, I don't you even see like me because I've got a I've got a big boy job now working with monkeys that you know a position that actually pays pretty good. And I've decided to yeah, spend yeah, that keep money fucking on flexing country your fried job. wagyu. <laughs> it is a pretty good job. I, I learned about time, benefits that I didn't know I had. Austin. Just so the <laughs> listeners know, he's got a big boy job where he gets to eat country fried wagyu, but he records in a closet where people are constantly walking behind him. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> well, you know, give and take. It's Chicago. Take what you can. But, um, yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to put a voice effect on you. That's stupid. <laughs> what? Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, Greg did a disapproving stare at me when I said that. But um, uh, yeah. That anyways, besides my <laughs> besides my new job, which I definitely talked about starting last episode, um, not much has been going on uh, besides Chantron getting back from Europe. Uh, yeah, vibe from the. You know, M20, the fucking explosive firecracker that blew his head off. Yeah, uh, I did die in Barcelona. A nine-year-old little girl 
launched a firework straight into my chest. Um, if only Chris Kyle was there to shoot that kid for you. <laughs> Look, Pop Pop. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but I was thinking for today's episode, we could do part one of Cryptids, then some voicemails. Greg, get those ready. Um, <laughs> no. And what do you mean, no? We've only got like the two. Oh, well, okay. okay. And well, we can. We absolutely can. We've got yeah, Jesse's well, and our in boy in Buffalo. Yeah. yeah that's Wait, I thought, didn't cute. Alex call back? I don't know. Maybe. Well, anyways. <laughs> I'd have uh, to look. But those are going to take us a bit because Jesse's voicemail requires I tell a story. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, what about the Australian guy? Oh, he also called back. Yeah. All right. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, are any of you familiar with the Billy Ape? Um, I've never heard of it before. Greg? I saw that you wrote it down, and I started saying, Billy. Why the Billy. fuck would I know what the Billy Ape is? I don't know. Yeah, You're obsessed with, like, Bigfoot and shit. I assume I believe in about... real stuff, like Bigfoot. Billy Ape sounds made up. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you wouldn't be entirely wrong. Billy Ape is a cryptid that is reported to be a chimpanzee subpopulation in africa a mostly like remote uncontacted village i think it's literally called billy the village um uh <laughs> um the uh that completely obliterated my train of thought okay restart um the billy ape is alleged to be a subpopulation of chimpanzee near the like mostly uncontacted remote village of Billy. Um, it is rumored to be as big as a gorilla, but still a chimpanzee somehow, mind you. Um, and it is alleged to kill lions. Like they're called the lion hunting chimpanzees. <laughs> Yeah. No, wherever, wherever you are right now, guys, let's all give Austin like either some snaps or a round of applause for getting through that really long sentence, okay? So just wherever <laughs> you are, just go ahead and give him a little couple Look, snaps. I get, I get distracted easily. But, um, yeah, so essentially the story is there was rumors of a gigantic chimpanzee, size of a gorilla, looked a bit like a gorilla, that was hunting and killing lions and apparently completely unfearful of humans um very like cold calculated killers um tool use advanced uh and so this was like a big thing for a, a couple of years in the early 2000s where people even national geographic was for sure like yeah this is like a new kind of ape we've discovered mm -hmm. the the new great ape um but as it turns out uh reports were highly exaggerated uh, one of the anthropologists that was rumored to be the first person to see a Billy Ape in person uh, greatly exaggerated the extent of, you know, the Billy Ape's physical differences. And likely that was because, you know, just a drum of conservation money or, you know, funding for future expeditions. Mm -hmm. um, they did DNA testing. It's literally just a normal chimpanzee. The only difference is that population in that area of Africa does tend to be a bit bigger. And just for some reason, socially, the chimpanzees have diverged in a way that they actually aren't really scared of humans. And um, opposite of the tool use claim, uh, they actually don't use sticks to fish for termites and termite mounds like most chimpanzees do. What they do instead is really special. They pick up the termite mound with their hands and smash it on a tree until it explodes, and then they eat the termites. So, so literally, yeah. <laughs> actually, no tool use whatsoever. <laughs> they're just grabbing termites. They're really just, they're literally just a giga-chad chimpanzee, and, um, you know, they were mistaken for gorillas, essentially, uh, mm -hmm. in part because fossil records found that they had a pronounced sagittal crest, which is the ridge on the top of you know, a primate skull that's typically not found in chimpanzees. Um, the claim at the time was that it wasn't found at all in chimpanzees, but that's not true. It's just a lot less pronounced. So Billy Ape, uh, it's not real, folks. Uh, not there's still real. rumors going around. It still has a page on the cryptid wiki page, um, and people are still insistent that it's a new hybrid species of 
chimpanzee and gorilla like a chimpanzee fucked a gorilla and <laughs> made this new species you know but it, I, i'm not sure if this is the only story we're going to talk about where it's just anthropologists lying but truly <laughs> yeah, the no, least, absolutely truly not. the least trustworthy <laughs> profession and all of history, <laughs> I feel. anthropologists fundamentally incorrect at all times uh both in their they could be lying about all that shit their, all of it like Most scientific going to uncontacted tribal villages how do we know they're not lying they could be making all of that shit up <laughs> who would know nobody nobody, nobody. Would know. at least not until after they made their fucking money and split <laughs> wrote a book about it oh yeah speaking uh -huh. of anthropologists to get mad about jane goodall um someone is like posting that clip of jane goodall doing the speech where she says the human population should be reduced to like 500 million again which is just like insane to me because like <laughs> what yeah she was like, <laughs> she was... like if, if human pop yeah there's like this old video of like from two years ago that was like i don't know we just saw today again and it was her saying like oh if the population was the same as it was 500 years ago we wouldn't even be talking about all these i know climate issues like motherfucker there was like <laughs> <laughs> nobody living on the planet <laughs> <laughs> there was nobody there it was like a couple of like serfs in like a vassal um but yeah no uh fucking yeah jane goodall problematic cancelled um that eugenicist bitch <laughs> <laughs> that's the first thing you say in like five minutes <laughs> yeah because you weren't saying anything i had any bits to riff off of i'm sorry huh. fair yeah, enough sometimes austin just like Goes sometimes i just his little sometimes i just actually facts. talk about like things that are like facts and they're not oh, I'm particularly sorry. interesting <laughs> yeah that eugenicist bitch no no for real fuck her She's pulling some real um, Anglo-Saxon bullshit with that. Yeah, no, I mean, I don't know if she's ever walked back those comments, but not to my knowledge. It's just weird Gee. that old white people are physically incapable of aging without doing something just terrible, like getting into some horrible form of reactionary politics. To just what do you think we're going to do? To... Well, yeah, die we're going to do that, of course. Die but... before that happens. That's yeah, we're, gonna, we're all going to die. It's, it's okay, you get a pass. That's true. Oh, I do get a pass. Oh, yeah. yeah you get a pass. Yeah. Me and Austin are going to say something heinous before we die. <laughs> Already have. <laughs> yeah. It, really, it doesn't make it into the I just, I just cut it out of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say something on the record horrible at some Terrible. point. We're going to be doing a live episode, and Greg is going to forget where he is for just the sm his guard I'm is going to go on a 45 a minute tangent about the Balkans, and then, like, I'm going to get canceled online. <laughs> You're gonna get like really mad about polyamory at a live recording event, and just everyone's <laughs> gonna leave. It's It'll gonna be a live be, like, recording the... event in like Washington State, and then they'll kill me right outside. Literally, yeah. <laughs> no, we'll it's see, gonna be like the Kramer cool. Laugh Factory incident where everyone gets up and starts walking away, and you're like just shouting at them <laughs> to come back. <laughs> I'll just be making jokes the whole time. Oh, you're all leaving to go fuck each other, huh? <laughs> Uh, and honestly, it would be true because we're yeah. in Washington State. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's why people get mad at the wrong yeah. left coast state. All right, California's fine. Washington California's, has to go. California is a perfectly normal state most of the time. Yeah. I feel right, like most the of the states could leave. Like we we could keep all of the states that have cryptids in them, and then the rest of them don't contribute much of anything to America. Let's culture. go. We get to keep Utah. Gotta keep Jersey. Yeah, we can we can keep Utah for the comedic value. Keep Jersey. Absolutely. The the cryptid there is Mormons. Yeah. All right. Next one. Um, these next three actually, I'm not. Sh people tend to lump them together, um, and you know I don't know. Greg, you seem like the expert on this. Next one I want to do is Sasquatch slash Bigfoot. Okay. Now, uh, we've we've talked about this a bit already. I don't believe in Sasquatch or Bigfoot. I it's you're a hater. I think. I mean, Simply. I am a hater, but I mean, the fact is, these things. Someone would have seen Bigfoot by now, and not we'll just have. in a. 
like one of the discovery <laughs> one of the discovery channel big finding bigfoot shows would have found something at, like the season they keep, finale they keep finding stuff they don't find anything. They they find stuff. No, they and keep then, finding you know, stuff. You know, see, the then TV it doesn't shows, go anywhere. The TV shows are ops, right? They're filled with weirdos who don't ever find anything because the real people are being silenced. Exactly. Okay, I, I can I can Bigfoot, at least get with that logic. They are hiding Bigfoot. How they okay, don't want me to fuck Bigfoot? Yeah, the pe- the people who are hiding are Bigfoot just, aren't like, going to allow the real Bigfoot finders but on TV. <laughs> Is the contention that Bigfoot is a species and that Yeti and it's just one guy? He's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, he's just one guy. Okay, he just they're all skinwalkers. Yeah, yeah. No. How about um, skinwalkers are also real? Yeah, I don't know if if you believe in those, aren't you like not allowed to say their name out loud though? Those are the W. Don't say it. They're, yeah, that's it's a yeah. Uh, they're all they are also more importantly. You're also, more importantly, I believe, a very real part of a people's belief system. So, so Greg, being the Bigfoot expert, what's the difference between like a Yeti and a Bigfoot? Like, is it a sub? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's yeah. Yetis uh, are is it like a? Hold on. The difference between Bigfoot and the Yeti is is really just the location that they live in. Like, so are you saying it's like a brown bear versus a grizzly, or, sorry, a brown bear versus a polar bear? Um, or is it literally like the same brown guy? Brown bears and polar bears are different. Yeah, but like they're close enough that like, are you saying that it's literally the same species, they've just adapted to live in different locations? Yeah, it's kind of like how um, there's darker skinned people closer to the equator as a consequence of the UV radiation from the sun. And there's I, lighter skin people the further north you go. Yeah, but I feel like the further the, south you go. I feel like the Yeti mythos is that the they have like the insane like heat retention. You see, Sasquatch evolved alongside humans. So, you know, a lot of these, you know, like, phenotypes, you... phenotypes, you know, uh, share a lot of commonalities. With the Going back to the skinwalker thing, wouldn't you think that like there would at least be some mythos about it, like in native culture or something like indigenous yeah. cultures would greg can you hear us now yeah i can hear you now okay greg wouldn't if big if bigfoot was real wouldn't you think that like indigenous people would know about bigfoot and not just they like fucking do who name one <laughs> name any fucking any fucking native american tribe they all talk about him i don't believe that <laughs> i don't believe that all right well haters gonna hate um but yeah, they all yeah, they, there. There are well known phenomena. <laughs> there are also people who believe that the uh, a yeti was responsible for the Dilatov Pass incident, which also. Like, what is the Dilatov Pass incident? Dilatov the- Pass was like an avalanche or some shit. Yeah, it's when all those like hikers went missing, and uh, they like found their bodies in weird, like they had panicked, escaped their tents, and like ripped off their clothes and shit. Something like that. I don't know. It was a bunch of weird circumstances where they never really found out what happened, but it's safe to assume that it was an avalanche. Safe but to assume it was a Yeti. If yeah, the, uh... <laughs> you can look up pictures of them online, and it's it's pretty fucked up. I'm not yeah, going mean, that up. I don't want to see it. If the Discovery Channel documentaries bars. that my uncle watches are anything to believe, then it was the Yeti who killed these people. Which, there we go. Speaking of which, we still have to get my uncle to talk about Bigfoot on the pod. I'm going to, I'm going to like, call him and tell him to leave a voicemail um and talk about bigfoot which sort of related um after we answer this round of voicemails we're going to temporarily make the hotline a yeti slash bigfoot uh reporting incident hotline um we're going to spread it everywhere and we are going to collect as many eyewitness bigfoot accounts as possible you Um, must call in with your bigfoot sightings yeah. Or Yeti's you have to. You have to. And We're obligating you to do so. And don't pretend to be like a like a southern dude who like found Bigfoot in the wilderness, because Greg will definitely clock you on that. I feel like Greg has some sort of powers that he can just tell when it's a tumbler. It's follower. the same it's the same way he tells I he can talk you're trans or non binary, okay? Yeah. yeah. It's the same part of his brain. I'm clocking you motherfuckers no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah, semi related 
Um, the third Bigfoot-like is the Mayaka Swamp Ape or the Skunk Ape, which is... Uh, skunk Ape's kind of a metal name. Yeah, it's essentially just Bigfoot, but he's stinkier and he has a lot more <laughs> hair and he lives in a swamp in Florida. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Also Bigfoot. Also Bigfoot. Yeah, I don't know. I went to Mayaka City uh, to study primates for like in the middle of the wilderness for like a week. I didn't find him. I was looking for him. I was looking for the swamp ape. I didn't find shit. I found crocodiles. The swamp apes are like the swamp waterbenders in Avatar. You know? <laughs> yeah, Honestly, it's no, like really, the- <laughs> really. Yetis, no. Sasquatch, the swamp ape. It's just the north-south benders and then also... Oh, oh yeah. No, no, Yeti is yeah. water bend, the water tribe, right? Uh-huh. Uh, uh, Bigfoot is earth earth benders. That's, that's not what kingdom. I said at all. You're doing a different <laughs> <way>. <laughs> um, it's I don't know. I was trying to assign the no, I was just... <laughs> avatar tribe, but anyways. <laughs> let's, continue, let's continue on from this bit. Um, the Ahul, the Ahul, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's I feel in like the... you can't say anything that's not written, like, in fucking New York English, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so Austin I found speaks this on only the... one language, and it's American <laughs> on English. The, on the primates category of the Cryptids fandom wiki, I, you know, went down and I found all of the, you know, most of these are not really... Most of these are just variations on Bigfoot, such as Alien Bigfoot. Um, but this one, the Ahul, uh, I have to refresh my memory a bit on it. Uh, Jesus Christ, this website is terrible. The entire screen is ads right now. I can't, I can't even click anything. Oh, yeah. The fandom, you know, wiki. the fandom wiki. Yeah, website it's the worst goddamn terrible. website in the world. Every time you click on a new page, <laughs> it opens up like three ads. If God loved us, this website would be taken down. <laughs> okay, so the Ahul. Um, I guess it's Vietnamese cryptid, actually. So they are described as bats, who are also primates, who are five feet tall with a large wingspan. Doesn't specify the wingspan, just large. Um, it was described by three U.S. Marines in Da Nang, Vietnam, in 1969. Mm. It's also called it's also called the Vietnam Night Flyer, um, and apparently the Mayans also knew it as the Death Bat. But I feel like that's you know a completely different thing altogether. Okay. See this one. This one immediately loses a lot of uh, was the credibility with me because it was U.S. military. You know, and I yeah, was know, U.S. cops lie. They always yeah. lie. <laughs> I think it would be really funny if, like, some Viet Cong soldiers just to, like, fuck with the <laughs> um, occupying army, the invading army, whatever, just fucking made some cryptids and, like, put them up on some strings and hung them from the trees just to scare the shit out of some, <laughs> like, terrified little, little boy and paper craft, <laughs> paper craft cryptids. Okay. <laughs> and they're dumb enough that it worked on the Americans. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, um, they are described. Okay. Well, according to the cryptid wiki, they've been reported on all corners of the world, but let's just ignore that. Cause that I, I need some more specificity than that. Um, they are described as a black or gray fur, a monkey like face, clawed feet and a 10 to 15 foot wingspan. There we go. It's specified. Um, in Brazil, they are called bat people in Mexico. They're called the death bat. Um, yeah, no, it's essentially just what if Bigfoot was a bat, um, which is also another cryptid called Bat Squatch. <laughs> okay. There's a separate what if oh what's what's Bat Squatch all about? It's it's essentially the same thing, but it's like bigger. Like it's if Bigfoot was a bat and was flying. A lot of these have there's a lot of overlap because I guess people aren't very creative in the you know cryptid. Um, fabrication. Oh, or they, maybe they're all seeing the same thing. I don't know. Maybe taxidermy is, you know, falling from grace as a respected profession, and they don't have enough people to fake the, you know, cryptid bodies that we've come to know and love from Bigfoot uh, sightings. Um, for some reason, baboons are, are a category on the cryptid wiki. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also Bat Squatch, yeah. Well, I, I feel, Austin, you've seen a baboon before, right? 
Yeah, I've seen a baboon. So I, I think by you know logic, you know, it's by association. All these other things like must also be real as well. Yeah, I mean, most baboons like the the gelato with the fucked up lung chest thing. I feel like if I saw that and I didn't know what it was, I would also think it was some kind of cryptid. Mm-hmm. Um, there's some, yeah. There's there are some fucked up monkeys out there. Oh yeah, there's actually a Vietnamese Bigfoot called the Ujit, um, and some other pronunciations that I'm not even. Okay, sorry the. Mike's disconnected for a second there. Anyways, um, the last cryptid I'd like to go into before we head into voicemails is something called the Orang Bati. Um, it's a flying cryptid located in Southeast Asia. They are described as vicious, soaring primates who are notorious for kidnapping and carrying away children during nocturnal raids on native villages. Um... Yeah, it's essentially, um, okay, so it says here, since as far back as the 1500s, um, native tribes, indigenous people have told Christian missionaries blood-curdling tales regarding a species of nocturnal airborne predators, which were infamous for their nighttime raids. Um, essentially, the what this is, is a monkey if it was a pterodactyl. Um mm. But I'm also that also feels here, also that feels like what the other two flying apes yeah, were. <laughs> like again, there's not a whole lot of creativity in the cryptid world. Like it's essentially some kind of large monkey or some kind of bat creature. You know, this is Mothman why I is, believe in cryptids you know. because I've seen SCP. I've seen what this looks like if it's fake. It's fun and cool and interesting. Whoa! 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 SCP's real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, would I mean, you would think that, Greg. I guess point Don't to the room. point to the cryptids being real front is that it's too boring to have been like made up as folklore. Like if someone was gonna make it up at you would think they would at least make it more interesting. Um There is also yeah. an interesting theory in place that the reason that so many like tribes so, like, peoples who just, like, not, like, from the non-industrial world. So, like, the reason, like, Europeans don't have those legends anymore is as a product of their massive population and industrialization. Just, they explored their entire natural environment. There, there is a theory in place that a reason, the reason so many, like, uncontacted tribes or Native Americans or, um the South American cultures and the Central American like empires had these legends is that it's like a, it's like a genetic memory. Um, populations that did not explore their entire natural environment or just simply didn't have enough of a population to cover most of their natural environment kept this like genetic memory of a time when they lived among, when people lived among other species of people. Um, mm -hmm. so you could take it as like an echo of when humans lived among Neanderthals and that's like a cultural imprint that didn't need to be erased. It, it, it doesn't, doesn't add, it doesn't take away. Um, so it's just something that stayed. That's a theory. I, su I suppose I could see that. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, no, um, shit, I don't have anything else to add to that. I was going to say something, but I don't remember. Um. That's okay. Want, yeah. Yeah, I don't need to add anything. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna usually don't. nail voicemails? <laughs> yeah, let's let's go ahead and go into voicemails. This yeah, is gonna be the last normal batch of voicemails yes. next, for a while. Next week or no no, uh two weeks from now. I want all of you I want so many fucking insane, absolute batshit insane cryptids reports. Listen here, I know, if I, you're a I want if you're batshit insane, I want the Marxists, the anarchists, <laughs> the losers, the haters. I want you all to call in, and I want you to tell me about any cryptids you know about and or slash have seen. Oh, um, yeah, if you just know a, f a fun cryptid. Yeah, I mean, yeah, call yeah, dog, If you've so seen the fucking too. Swamp Ape, if you've seen the fucking Grassman, I don't give a fuck. I don't care if we're talking about Mothra, all right? 
<laughs> fucking call in and tell me, okay? Because I we'll will humor you. you. I may believe yeah, you. And, and nobody <laughs> snitch because we're going to put this on like fucking like Reddit and like the 4chan paranormal board. And I, actually, maybe I shouldn't do that with Greg's phone number. <laughs> um, That's my phone number. That's okay. Well, yeah, it's not your actual phone number, but I feel we're like... We're going to put it on fucking 4chan. Okay, yeah, we're going to put it on 4chan, and put it on nobody 4chan. snitch. Nobody snitch. This needs to be a real Bigfoot reporting hotline. I want the most insane people on the internet to find out about this. Yeah, I'm going to send this to my uncle, and I want him to like spread it to all of his equally insane friends through Facebook. Send it to your uncle, and don't yeah. tell him it's your show. Oh, yeah. yeah. Send it to your uncle, like, hey, there's this like new initiative. They're like taking in like... Cryptid spottings and stuff. You should call in with your information. You know? Oh yeah, Greg. That means you'll have to um, temporarily change the voicemail. I'll change the voicemail. I'll change the voicemail. Yeah, you'll have to change it back afterwards, though. Yeah. Um, Maybe something a bit less rambling. You know, a bit hey, more concise. Hey, don't you fuck um, <laughs> All right, let's let's fucking get into it. Sound good? All right. Yeah. Let's get all right. These so going. they're all in the chat. You should be able to see them all. Uh, we'll Beautiful. start at the first Bye. one. It's a follow-up from our boy, Brendan in Australia. Love Brendan oh, yeah. in Australia. All right, Brendan in Australia, you left us a long one, so let's better sure be fucking Two good. and a half minutes. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Two, one, go. Uh, hey, guys. It's Brendan from Australia again. Uh, how's it going, mate? Uh, bloody uh, throw another shrimp on the barbie. I don't know. We don't really talk like that. It's just that's just something that we do, you know, for movies and stuff. Um, I I, I loved uh, loved all the questions. I called in with a question. Ended up ended up getting basically a quiz back. So the problem is, by the time you listen to this, it's going to be like weeks after you record the episode, so you're not going to remember. But you responded to my previous voicemail with a litany of Australian-based questions. Um. To answer, because uh, I, 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 I did the due diligence of writing them down, to answer, the largest uh, the largest spider I've ever found in my own home was like, you know, the size of like a closed fist. But they're Ooh. all, you know, they're all, um, they're all pretty harmless. They're like, the poisonous ones aren't the large ones, you know. Mm. But anyway, you, you put a, you put a bowl over the top and you put a piece of paper underneath and you take them outside. It's not a, not a big deal. Can't really um, kill them. Oh right? yeah. Then, uh, you know, and, and as far as me being charged money for this call, I, I'm pretty sure I get international calls included on my cell phone plan because we don't really have like home mm. internet where I live, so oh. I just I just pay for like a good cell phone service. I hope there's not too much chaos going on in the background. I'm in the city, um, Sydney. That is. Last question. How many prime ministers has there been in my life? Nine. Which is the last oh, one of them was twice because he got ousted and then he, and then he, he came back into power, but it was always the same. You know, it's a mess. I mean, you guys have heard, you guys have heard the news. Um, but also something monkey related, chimp related, ape related is, uh, in, in that time, you know, the last 25 years, um, the Australian uh, Medical Sort of Society, the universities and hospitals, I found out they've imported hundreds of macaques um, to use in scientific Hell research yeah. for things like diabetes, uh, HIV, AIDS. Um, you know, they're just pumping these these monkeys full of diseases. And I, 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 I guess I, I, I don't know. This this kind of thing is allowed in America, but here in Australia, where um, you know, wholesale experimenting on on macaques and um, and also baboon. I really hope there's not too much wind on this voicemail. Baboons. <laughs> there is. Um, and in fact, baboons. in 2023, baboons escaped a, uh, <laughs> a transport truck in my very, uh, my very own city of Sydney. Um, and went on a, went on a, a brief uh, escape head before they were all captured alive. Uh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, and that's, and that's from uh, the Sydney Royal, Royal Hospital here. Um, they escaped from. And yeah, I, I, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so I guess my question this time is, is, um, is monkey research, you know, is, is giving monkeys AIDS on purpose? Uh no! <laughs> no! No, no, cut off! Well, was he, oh. Well, I, okay. Was he he, he didn't cool. call in again. That, was, I, that was the whole bit. But, um... You got enough. Good eye, cunt. Good eye, cunt. <laughs> How you doing? 42 yeah, Wallaby you. Way, Sydney, Australia. <laughs> I do want to comment on the fact that Brendan was like, 
We got a bunch of macaques for experimenting on. Austin went, hell yeah. And then he said, they're pumping them full of AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. Less of a hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah, cunt. Not as oh. cool. Uh, um, first off, Brendan from Australia, where the fuck are you that they don't have home internet? And I know that that might be me as an American doing a very first world thing, but um, isn't Australia part of the first world? So um, do I you think, live like in the outback? I think their he, internet he is just Sydney. through their cell providers. Yeah, like they, don't have, they don't have like spectrum. Yeah, oh my god, up. you guys need, need a 10th yeah. prime minister. <laughs> <laughs> you need a guy to run on like internet. Have you thought about know. um the reason Australians have bad internet isn't because they're at the bottom of the fucking world for no reason. It's because their cell providers give them internet. Uh, uh well I don't have an opinion on giving monkeys AIDS. It's definitely unethical. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll better than giving people know. AIDS, I suppose. I think, yeah, I mean, not Which all. People? I think with <laughs> with all monkey experimentation. Okay, well, yeah, but monkey experimentation has weird, like ethical lines in the sand. I suppose, like, um, you know, the whole sort of idea behind testing on primates is you want to get as much use out of individual primates sorry primates as you can and you want to use as few primates as possible and so when you hear about people like bringing in uh you know just hundreds of macaques just to kill them um with fucking aids i don't know how useful that is like it's really a matter of i like i guess this really depends on your moral your sense of morals but um, it feels bad to me if it's not at least for, like, a good cause. Like, I don't know how much could be learned from giving monkeys AIDS. Like, I'm sure there is a process just like, you know, um, I recently got a job, you know, researching macaques, macaques. I, there seems to be no consensus. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, well, Brendan from Australia, thank you for calling It's complicated. Again. If you want to call again and can continue that question, if if it was going somewhere other than where we took it, call again. Yeah, I, I, did, try, anyway. I did try to text you. I did try to text you, but it did not go through. So yeah. <laughs> you are more than welcome to call in again, as long as this isn't costing you a small fortune. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank, thank, thanks, Brandon. No, AT and T charges you ten dollars a day for international data roaming. That's fucked up. Also, fuck you. Size of my closed fist? Fuck you. Fuck right? That's insane. That's that is not normal. I my house to, down to, size. <laughs> you said that I picked, I made a fist. I, I was just, like, oh my god. Just put a glass bowl over it and you, you put a piece of paper under there. It's not a If I saw that, that, I would you gotta, call. you gotta put a bowl over it. A bowl, bitch. Like a mixing bowl, like a salad bowl. My god, I, ever I see a spider though? the size of a quarter and I leave. I don't stay. I leave. I make somebody else get it. Did I mention, though, that um, when I was in, like, the middle of nowhere uh, in a wooden cabin for my chimpanzee internship, there was a brown recluse, but none of us knew that it was a brown recluse, so we did put a cup over it and take it outside and throw it. Um, we took a picture of it as well, and we showed it to other guys <laughs> there who did a master's program on spiders, and he, like, <laughs> freaked the fuck out on us. He's like, why didn't you kill it? What is wrong with you? Um, it was very funny. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know. I, I would kill myself if I saw a spider like that. Yeah, yeah, you're fucking brave. All right. Yeah. L Lewis? Lewis time? Yeah. yeah, okay. Oh, before we do Lewis, Lewis, I'm so sorry for getting your gender wrong. Oh, did you? I did. I did misgender Lewis. Oh. What is Lewis's okay, well, gender? Are we about to find out? Yeah, we're about to find out. Okay. Okay, so. yeah, let's just go. Okay, three, two, one, go. Hello, monkey men. It is Lewis again. And monkey people of all genders. Not now. <laughs> um, I'm calling Not back now. to say <laughs> that I have never had my balls fully exposed on the fucking airwaves before of getting clocked Why don't we that ask hard. Lewis? Because oh. <laughs> I was born and raised in Indiana. I don't live there right now, but I'm still in the Midwest. Also, I'm not doing a voice unless I'm just doing a bit, but I just do dumb, 
I just sound stupid. I'm sorry. And oh. uh, I fully believe Ginger's performance, and bitch, I got stage fright. So, yeah, I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm pretty much non-binary, but I also have started to transition, and I will tell you something funny. Uh, I never cared much for monkeys or primates until after I started transitioning a while ago. So is Let's that a go. conspiracy of big of big t- hormone to promote primate primates? I don't fucking is know. Is this a conspiracy that Maybe. Austin is yeah. trans? Uh, I have Absolutely. another question for you guys. Uh, other than just updating you on my life, I guess. I don't fucking know. Please don't expose my balls on the airway again. Uh, okay. <laughs> when my dad would threaten us, me and my siblings, uh, he would say that, like, oh, man, you guys need to clean up because it smells like a monkey cage. And I'd always be like, hey, Dad, why do you know what a monkey cage smells like? You grew up in Indiana as well. And he would say that his neighbor, a couple blocks down from where he grew up, had a monkey in their fucking yard in a cage, I guess. I what? don't know, it was the 70s or something. What the fuck's up with that? <laughs> Why do you have a monkey it was in the, the 70s or something. yard in the 70s? Um, so what is the uh, smelliest primate? And uh, what the fuck's up oh. with that, huh? Other than that, uh, that you guys continue to do uh, God's work. Fight the power, rah, rah. I uh, do that as much okay. as I can here in the Midwest. I'm doing my fucking best in this hellscape. Uh, good luck to you and Starship Earth, whatever. Uh, bye. I love you all. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thanks, um, Lewis. Also, Lewis is, I, I believe I saw on Twitter. I can't remember anymore because it's been a while. I believe it's she, her. Uh-huh. Okay. She, they. Okay. Can always default to they. I we did, we anyway. did, yeah. There was somebody, uh, yeah, whatever. There was Alex, I think, we found on Twitter. But, um... All right, all right. All right. Uh, I, what? I don't know what kind of monkey your dad's friend had. <laughs> um, in a cage guess, outside. If it was in, in a cage outside, I feel like it was probably too big to be a capuchin. In the house, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but if it was a chimpanzee... Um, we probably would have heard about it. Known about that. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah, would have heard about that. About that. <laughs> this would have uh, been... We would be talking movie. to Lewis right now if there was a yeah, chimpanzee. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, what I think it was is probably a macaque, um, just because I have heard of that before in, you know, the deep south. There's somewhere in North- South Carolina where someone just had a macaque chained up to their tree with a dog collar and a leaf, <laughs> like just an insane person. Um, Absolutely. don't know why, but people do that in the middle of nowhere for some reason, um, which I do consider Indiana the middle of nowhere, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I that's my best guess, but in terms of the smelliest primate, um none of them have really an inherent smell. It's just a matter of how much they're shitting at any and given throwing time. Their shit. And shitting yeah. and pissing and coming on and same like spot. eating their own <laughs> shit and like doing all that stuff that Greg just said. Um in captivity, especially, it really just depends on how well the husbandry staff is taking care of them and cleaning up after them. Um so that um our hus- is the husband is the husband's you staff in charge of shit, piss, and cum? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'll say one, one funny thing. It's I'm not really on the husbandry side of things anymore. I'm like a big science boy. Um, mm-hmm. not I, I still, science boy. Like I still did boy. check like the bedding tray at one point for like uh, I was checking for you know feces and urine. We have to document these things in a spreadsheet, and there's this big like thing of cum and the person training me was like ah oh, did you masturbate again to the monkey and like i just realized like damn is that like is this what <laughs> working with monkeys like does to you that you just like, it's, it's something normal you say just casual now yeah <laughs> it's so casual it's just be jizzing all over the place do yeah do any of the researchers there talk to the monkeys and baby speak only um, all the time baby speak to the monkeys yeah, more or less. I mean, not all the time, but most of the time. Oh, most everyone does it. Say. Yeah, I yeah. think pretty much everyone does it to an extent, at least. Um, 
it's very funny because with macaques, they're very aggressive and they do not return the affection. They just try to fucking kill you um, <laughs> as soon as they can. But anyway, get clocked, Lewis. <laughs> oh my god. <gosh, laughs> okay. Now I can't remember if what Lewis's pronouns are. I can't remember. I can't keep okay, track well, of you Let's people. just uh, just say <laughs> sorry and let's move on to the next one. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't keep track anymore. <laughs> There's too many, too many pronouns in the world. And then all the voicemails, they're not labeled with your names. They're just numbers for me. So I, I don't know who you are. Yeah, you're all we're going like, to chronically fuck us. up people's pronouns in the voicemails. Probably. Yeah, I'm really so sorry. So. Apologies in advance. Please, um... um Fucking it's hard to tell, tell me. voicemail. Yeah. Yeah, and also just just say something, maybe. Yeah. If, if you don't, if you don't want to, you don't have yeah. to. But anyways, All next right. voicemail. Next one is um twenty three seconds long, and I briefly yeah. read the transcript, so this one might be good. Um, three, okay. two, one, go. I am here to defend Austin to successfully the hangout. Wow. Also, I have a question. What? If you were forced to cohabitate with a primate, which would you choose? Again, big support to Austin. <laughs> Solidarity with guys who get bullied by their brains for being a feminine male. <laughs> Is this a that was a voice? That was a was Goku that fucking Texas satire. Voice. Was that satire? Because I don't want to make fun of you. If if that, it was that had to be a joke. That was Goku. Even that was a Goku text to speech voice. I'm I'm Goku dead serious. Or Mr. That, Satan? Was, that was no. That was Goku. Do you guys not know was, Goku's voice? I don't. I've never watched. That was so Dragon clearly Ball. a Goku text to speech voice. <laughs> Maybe you should get some I, bitches, Austin. <laughs> literally. <laughs> okay, anyway, well, um, well, yeah. No, thank you for zero uh, solidarity for Austin. No, we don't accept that. Yeah, I need I need the cut crusaders and the feminine uh, baby faced males. You've literally been sissified since birth. <laughs> why do you say it sissified? <laughs> yeah, why do you say it like that? You've been sissified. <laughs> Sissy hypnode. Anyways, yeah. all right. Well, let's do Alex from Las Vegas again. Alex, I yeah. think it's your pronouns I got wrong. Yeah, Alex's pronouns are she her. We definitely mess it up. But also, I'm sorry, Alex. Alex. Yeah, okay, let, let's just listen uh, to this. All right, all right, we ready? We ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Oh. Hello? Uh-huh. <laughs> 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 Hi there, it's Alex from what? Vegas. Um... <laughs> Listen. First off, I want to say I was not <laughs> I was not smoking weed. I was not high the last time I called. But not true. Right? I can promise you Simply that. Simply that day, I was very sober at that moment. I'm not now, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, those were I was coughing because I hadn't eaten any day, and I hadn't eaten anything that day. Anyway. This 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 is uh what I got wanna ask you guys this time. Uh I got a play of rice and beans here and I'm wondering, do do monkeys like spicy food? Do they like sweet food? Mm. How do they feel about sour stuff? Are there like monkeys with particular appetites? I know certain animals can't feel like spicy food, like they don't have the nerves on their tongue or whatever. Like birds. Are monkeys like that? Uh yeah. Let me know. Bye bye. I love you. Alex, Thank are you, you fucking? Are you perma fried? Second, then that's our second. I love you today. Yeah, that is our second. I love you. But Alex, are don't, you don't call it and say I love and, you. By the way, yeah. it's not necessary. No, please do. No, keep to keep doing it. But are okay, you perma fried? If you good. weren't high last time, but you're high this time, but okay. you sound exactly the same. <laughs> I will like, say, are I, you perma fried? There was multiple judge. comments from Alex's friends. Say, okay, who is tapping on their mic or water bottle? Who's doing? I am that? so fucking sorry. You were doing okay. Stop doing He's that. Still like ten minutes cutting out this from the bonus episode. By the way, okay. Oh my god. Okay. Anyways, um, you yeah, know, I multiple comments received um, from Alex's friends saying that Alex is a liar and she was absolutely fried and Thanks. high on the marijuana weed when this message was sent in. on that Zaza. 
I could smell the salsa. Listen, Alex, Not no judgment here. I recorded half of these episodes at least high off my ass. Yeah. Um, the last episode I was on, I was literally chugging vermouth at the behest of Greg. <laughs> yeah, Chandran was like destroyed that episode i was i was I literally burning like up that. i got I was, like that i was burning up i was and there's no like, ac in europe either there's no ac i was getting that's hot why, from that's the why liquor. they're all drunk that's why they're all drunk it's you can't tell if it's the sun or if it's the liquor that's making yeah. you all warm and yeah. blushing and shit <laughs> all so right what's um, the do, did chimps taste the food yeah oh, this is yeah a sorry i forgot to i forgot to answer this <laughs> um so yeah um Primates are like humans, where they have different tastes. Um, mm -hmm. I will say, like the most primates I've ever worked with at one time was still the chimpanzee sanctuary, and you know we gave all of them the same food essentially for their meals. Some of them would eat it in different ways, like uh, some would eat the bananas with the peels, some would meticulously peel them. Some of them would love to eat raw onions, just straight raw onions. Some of them would just like me, just like me for real, for real. <laughs> Some of them would, you know, eat all kinds of fruit. Some of them would refuse to eat, like, pears and kiwis. It's really a personal taste thing. Um, we didn't give them anything too sugary or too spicy, so I don't mm -hmm. know what their reaction would be. I'm sure a chimp would go insane for some Takis, though. Absolutely. <laughs> what Absolutely. would a chimp do if you gave it hot Cheetos? I, I think it would love life. it. Yeah. It'd start wearing Cookie Monster pants and not come out of class. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not um, going to jungle school. <laughs> kind of. I don't know if you have an answer for this, Austin. If not, we can maybe talk about it later. Yeah. Uh, do primates in the wild, you know, do they have, like, recipes? Do they, like, have food combinations or preparations that they consistently use and, like, you know, like, in, like, little clicks or whatever? Uh, I'd say they have methods of like gathering food that can change mm -hmm. how it the is like Greg it, yeah. talked about you know storing fruit and sorry fruit in tree trunks oh and, yeah and, and fermenting, fermenting them yeah um, there's different methods of fishing termites out of mounds as we discussed mm -hmm. um you know some of them will it it really they're not known to prepare food in any way um, at least mm -hmm. not that I'm aware of it's just yeah, like so not even like mashing or grinding certain things together yeah, then, I mean, well, with coconuts, for example, um, mm. or like they fruits put a lime that require in there, being they, broken, they shake it up. They will, they will take a rock and break it open, but like, they're not gonna uh -huh. like do anything funny with it. <laughs> okay, like uh, wear a fake bra with it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I really wish. Uh, but no, unfortunately, no. If chimps okay. walked around with you know coconut bras, I think that would be a better world. It would be. Yeah, I think we would let them into society. Absolutely, and if, and if they I mauled would. a few people, then that would just be the the price. The we price have. we pay would be, yeah. be their little quirk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Well, this this next one is from someone in England. So oh, we have our yes. first English caller. Oh, all right. Wow. Uh, yeah. All right. Ready? All right. Three. Yeah. Two. One. Go. Right. So you guys make fun of a lot of people, right? Like you've made fun of a lot of people from a lot of countries. But no one's called in from the UK yet, so I thought I'd have to do that so you can make fun of English people. Uh, so you're welcome, I guess. Also, I'm not just English. Uh, my parents are also white South African. Oh, oh. Uh -oh. fucking cancelled. South Africa they're from another country, but it still counts. It's still in Southern Africa. And I just want to say, I think it was definitely a white South African person who fucked a chimp and started AIDS. That's um, definitely so true, Queen. something that happened. Because I, I know those guys. They're all batshit over there. <laughs> they're all fucking batshit. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of them because my, my parents hate most of their family, or at least most of the family that still lives over there. So, uh, I, 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 but I do have experience in those places, and I just got to say, Definitely white South African either fucked a chimp or killed a chimp and then then ate it. Then fucked it. You know? And then that's how AIDS started. So that's just my perspective on things. Great uh, perspective. Yeah, I like I like your podcast. Fuck. Yeah, well, goodbye, I guess. 
uh, up the UK. I actually, don't do that. Uh, kill the Tories. Uh, Fuck yeah, kill the Tory. The Fuck the yeah, Queen. They redacted. Uh, goodbye. Yes. <laughs> okay, that, that message that really Jim's had it all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Thank sorry. At some, at some point, did she make reference to her family not actually being from South Africa, but being white people from a different country in South Africa? I, I, don't, I don't know. know. I didn't is that what she that said? Is that what she said? Because, um, okay, then let's just pause for one second. I'm going to re-listen to it to make sure I heard that right. You got the transcript. You can just, you know. I will but. say thank you so much for, uh, you know, checking your privilege at the door and, you know, air, really oh, yeah. airing everything out for us, you know. You got to. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just shut up for a second. <laughs> God. Oh, yeah, your parents are from another country in Southern Africa, but they're white. So I'm just going to say, hmm, Rhodesia, hmm, bad guys, hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. That's please. the only other one. That's the only other one. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's, thank you, yeah, these uh, disclaimers are necessary. If you are calling in from a place that sucks, like England, please... <laughs> <laughs> Please let it, give us a disclaimer so you have we to let us know. You have to let us know legally. Yeah. Legally, you have to. It's it's actually the law in Utah. So mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. Let me know. If you're from the only thing that Mormons have done right. Utah, yeah, you have to. You have to tell us. I'm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fuck. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be uh, yeah. centering to be centering South African voices in this discussion on uh, <laughs> they were responsible for AIDS. <laughs> they are, though. They are, though. They are, they are, though. Absolutely. I never even considered it before Greg mentioned it, you know, earlier this year or whatever. And but I it's true. Really it's on, I'm, I you know fully it. believe it. It's absolutely what happened. Errol Musk right. is a nasty little freak. Did you see that article? Yeah, where Errol, he had after seeing that article, with after his seeing article yeah. I, was, I was almost certainly convinced he's the one who did AIDS. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he well, was he was saying there. like fucking is like a natural male, you know, whatever impulse. Shout yeah, out, he and he was like, shout weird. out to my shout out to my son for fucking and sucking his way through through the world, <laughs> um, <laughs> leaving behind every as many kids as he possibly can. Absolutely, Just horrible, like weird, worst weird influence Genghis on Khan the world than Genghis Khan. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Just I don't net understand. Negative. All right. South Africa, like pre pre the end of apartheid, net negative. Yeah, I, I guess the whole so. world. Uh, essentially, South, a South Africa. State. South Africa has contributed less to the world than England has, which is you know, you know. So sorry for you for no, having no, post, to be post apartheid. South Africa is cool. Oh yeah, uh huh. Apartheid yeah. South Africa. Apartheid South Africa. Like literally not, classified as a terrorist. You know, not a fan. Not a fan of um, apartheid, honestly. All right, so this last one's from from Jesse. If you're listening, Jesse, if you're listening, this one, this is your voicemail, and I'm going to tell the story. Okay, God, so story. we're okay. going to listen to the voicemail, and then I'm going to tell the story. Lovely. Okay. I love a good Greg right. story. Three. All right. Two. One. All right. So, um, this is Jesse from North Carolina. Hi, Greg. Yeehaw. Um, oh, I yeah. just wanted to call and see what is the most primate-like behavior that each of you has exhibited uh, at some point in your life. And Greg, I have a I have a pretty good idea of what yours is, and I think <laughs> it is the uh, the first time you were in my hometown. And you, you bounce a stranger's head off the concrete within three hours of being there. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll play this on the pod. Maybe you won't. E either way, it's a great story. Um, oh, yeah. lovely. Solidarity forever, guys. Bye. Absolutely. Solidarity forever. Okay, Greg, please All right, elaborate. Jesse. All right, Jesse, I'm going to tell the story. So, So I used to, like, go to... I'm just gonna I'm gonna fucking dox you right now. I used to go to Shelby all the time. Um, oh, Shelby, uh huh. Yeah, I used to go to <laughs> Shelby all to the time. Yeah, well, there's a cool brewery that Jesse works at, um, and we used to just get drunk. I'd drive out there, I'd get drunk, and then I'd sleep out there. 
Um, uh, yeah, sure. But um, like the second or third time I went out there to hang out, we were in the bar and we were sitting outside and I'm, we're pissed drunk, right? <laughs> and some fucking guy tries to fucking like fight the bartender. And so like everybody's getting mad. <laughs> and this guy, he makes his way outside. He gets kind of pushed out of the bar. And um, me and one of Jesse's Jesse's buddy's dads was there. And um, guy's like trying to fight everybody. He's trying to fucking fight everybody. He's like starting to swing at people. And my buddy's dad grabs him and like tosses him on the ground. And he's still trying to fight from the ground. So I just kind of walked up to him. And nobody at home can see this. I kind of just walked up to him and like palmed his face and just went like, bam, down into the concrete. <laughs> Like a fucking went, basketball? Yeah, like I palmed his head like a basketball. And then he, he immediately lost all his fight and turned into, why would you do that to me? <laughs> like just <laughs> of a hat. Um, and so that's probably my most chimp moment. Um, yeah. But, uh, and after that, like he gets, they get him, the cops show up and he's like walking away and then he tries to fight the cops and the <laughs> and the cops like, <laughs> And these are, like, he's not a, this guy wasn't, like, huge, and the cops weren't, like, huge, but the cops just kind of take him and slam him into the wall and are like, what are you fucking doing? <laughs> and they eventually, the cops actually, like, let him go, because he was just like, I'm Because going they're, back. they're cops. <laughs> he yeah. was like, I'm going back to my apartment. And it was, like, across the street. Like, so he had to walk across the street to the next block, and then he was home. They were like, go the fuck home. If you don't go home, we're taking you to jail. So he gets, like, across the street... <laughs> And then, like, now he's got all his fight back, and he's screaming at us from the other side of the street. And Jesse, <laughs> at this point, is now he's losing his mind. And we're screaming back at him across the street, like, fuck you. He's like, fuck you, fuck you. He's like, I'm going to come over there and beat your ass. And Jesse's like, come over here and fucking fight me then. Come over here and fucking fight me then. <laughs> and this dude, like, the cops didn't fucking leave, dog. They were, like, around the corner. They were, And then, like, they kind of, like, meander back out. And they're like, go fucking home. This, like, this dude got his ass kicked. <laughs> what that was that was like that was like it was so funny because i had only been there like twice and i was like fuck this bam it's just and he brown what a, like, he what did, a like, move a rattle but he did the thing and he like woo, woo, woo. hell yeah like the fucking <laughs> uh brick break technique on him just essentially yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah i like i did i like somebody in the background was going like finish him and i bam <laughs> um yeah that's my most uh, that's my most ape moment okay well uh, Chandran, I want you to go because mine's embarrassing. I'm still deciding uh, how much I want. I don't know if I have disclose. one. Um, I mean, very recently, um, my my dad and I were in, in we're in India, right? So I guess that's my most ape like little monkey like thing. Um, we were up on the roof. I don't think I told the story yet. We we're up on the roof of my grandmother's house over there. And we're jumping around on top of the roofs and, you know, going from, like, there's, like, a temple next door. So we jump over to the temple and, you know, we next to the temple, there's, like, some more stuff. So, you know, we – there's not too much we can do because the, how the people start putting barbed wire up on their roofs a little while ago. But we're jumping around and my dad, he's, like, 54 years old. You should see this man, like, jumping from rooftop to rooftop, jumping from, like, you know, these, like – like, what do you call them? Like – there's like these domes on top of the houses to like you know make the ceilings bigger, without making the actual building bigger, and he was just jumping from these jumping between these domes and like jump from the dome up to like this big platform, and I tried to do it and I fell and busted my ass. You fell off the roof? Not off the roof, off one of the domes. So I fl I oh. felt like I fell like five six feet. Nice. I actually fucked up my elbow real bad, but <laughs> I I'm very not ape like. I tried it. I tried to pull it off and I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So sorry to sorry to disappoint Jesse. It happens. Yeah. yeah. It, happens, it happens, yeah. Austin? Uh for me, it's just been something that's been a part of me for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> like uh so I, I did this really embarrassing thing in high school where like uh I would walk up to my friend and like do like a like a Ooh! And, like, walk at him like I was a fucking chimp. Um, and he would be, like, in front of people and he'd get, like, really embarrassed. But I'd still do it because that was a little freak. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think. 
You know, I feel like the reason you're so reserved in real life is because if you let yourself not be, you just turn into this kind of person. Yeah. Yeah, no, if I wasn't, like, physically holding myself back, I would absolutely be making chimp noises, just constantly, just screaming. Um, Freshman year of uh, college, I was even more thin and waif-like, if you can believe it. Um, I I I want to put some... You got a leaf blowing away in the wind. <laughs> some, I want to put some meat on me, so the only way I could physically get myself to do that was just, like, pure, like, calisthenics, like, pull-ups. Like, I was swinging from monkey bars. Other fucker was doing calisthenics. Gym. Like, it's I was doing, I was like 40 and you're getting ready for the draft. <laughs> I was, I was like, fucking... I had a job at a gym. I would, like, when no one was around, I would swing from the monkey bars like a fucking gibbon. <laughs> just to pass the time. Um, and I still do things where, like, as a joke, where, um, or it started as a joke, and now it's, like, something that I actually do, and I can't help it, where if I see um, something exciting, I will just go, like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 just, like, go a little quick. <laughs> you have a tick? That's a tick. <laughs> it's not really a tick. It's just involuntary at this point. That's a tick. Whatever. That's the definition <laughs> of a tick. What, what do you mean? You gave yourself know. a tick. You did something so often that now it's subconscious. Yeah, well, it's I. I listened to too many become chimpanzee subliminals. Uh, do you do that like right before, right before you're about to get laid? You just go. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you mention that? Actually, <laughs> no. <laughs> like she's just like get in here and you go. <laughs> did you? Was your reaction to your girlfriend to go <laughs> before um, sex? Did this yes. really happen? Say yes. Say yes. yes. <laughs> I, you know, I really want her to be here to confirm this for me, uh, so that I don't have to say it. Tell the truth, Austin. Tell the <laughs> say it, Austin. Truth. I think Tell the, the first, I think the first, I think I did that the first time I saw her boobs. I, my exact <laughs> reaction was just the, the ooh. Well, hi, this is Austin's subconscious. I'm incredibly ashamed of myself, and every day I regret everything I do. <laughs> I'm actually fucking like speechless. I'm dumbfounded. I don't. I don't even want to fucking. I still do it sometimes. <laughs> Andrew, I think we should. I think this should be the last episode of the pod. <laughs> no, I think this is where we call our contingency plan. We take out Austin and we switch him with Ethan. Okay. <laughs> and we well, never look, acknowledge I, it. Look, you guys knew I was weird about monkeys. You just didn't know how deep it went. You didn't know how yeah. deep the rabbit hole went. Jesse, I can show you worlds you can't even imagine. Gross. Jesse, thank Jessie, you for this question. Yeah, see, Jesse, I think I think I might have done the second most chimp thing on the. Uh, yeah. On the pod. But, and um, Greg is Greg. How did you pull this off, Austin? Yeah, I know, I know. Um, um, but Jesse, you know, Jesse, call back in. I know you have more questions. I women love me for my feminine charm. <laughs> for your feminine charm and your women love to be with a the guy who they can. Buddy. Who they can nurse back to health like a sick they can baby boy. Physically dominate. <laughs> they they like uh they like uh men who are constantly sickly and bed bound and they like to like spoon feed them things. Um this is my experience what? anyways. I don't know. I'm going off on an insane. All of Austin women, women, women love women love sick of Victorian Austin's children. Yeah, players. they do. He just they do. They really to be do. Sick. And his girlfriend spoon feeds him, spoon feeds him soup until they're both in the mood, and they just go at it. And this she knows when he's in the mood because, like, he has enough soup, and then he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, man. I think this Alrighty. is a good place. This is a good yeah. place to wrap up. I think Austin this is too would much for a public up, episode. Sure. He's pussy fact, like this a should show. not be in a public episode. This should we should like put this All right, behind this is bars. The public episode. Um, I would like to thank everybody for continuing to listen to us for almost a year now. We're, we're coming almost. up on a year. Yeah, yeah. four more um, episodes. Yeah, yep. so, um, yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, thank you so much. Like I say every episode now for the last month, um, please donate to your local abortion fund. If you DM us and you show us that you're doing so, we will get you on the Patreon. Any amount. Yeah, any amount. Um, every month you donate, it'll extend how long you get to be on the Patreon. So, um, yeah, make mm -hmm. a continuing donation. It's worth a lot more than a one-time lump sum. So if you can give them $3 a month, I'll get you on the fucking podcast. Uh, I'm not on the podcast, on the Patreon. Um, yeah, keep we'll fighting the, the fucking power. Um, the links are always at the description here. So, you know, there's a list a list of all the abortion funds. There's You can donate to Utah's if you want. Um, 
but that's kind of my passion project. All the funds from our podcast go to the Utah Abortion Fund for now. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening. Please keep calling. F- fuck the United States and fun uh, shipping on you know. We, you, I am gonna kill Joe Biden. Uh oh, gonna shoot him with my gun. I got it from Walmart yesterday, and I found his address in Delaware.